This is the men's room. Forget it, man, and get with the countdown. Shake this square world and blast off the kickville. The trippers, the grasshoppers, the hip ones. All gathered in secrecy and flying high as a country. You're listening to the men's room with Miles and Thrill. Say to our friends uh, down in New Orleans, jumping on now at Bayou 95.7 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Also 105.7, the X Rock in Peoria, Illinois. And our latest affiliate, that would be 97.9 CPR, rocking down in lovely Biloxi, or Biloxi, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Home of the Half Moon Oyster House. I believe it's Half Moon. God, there. if you haven't been, uh, you're an idiot. Go. Really really I don't good. care if you're allergic to shellfish. Yeah. This will be worth the hospital trip. Oh, this is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Really welcome, good. Uh, welcome to the program. Big day for you. We've got the game known as... As Big Dummy, the head chef's in the house, Ted's meat and potatoes, has some snack information and some statistics about eating while being distracted. No S. Sherlock is coming up. And yes, we will drink and toast with a shot of the day as they are setting up the party as we speak. Game is Big Dummy, 844-999. Ola, who is our next contestant ready to play the game? Hello, Taylor. Welcome to the men's room. How's it going? Hola. Hi, right, Taylor. Are you sober or not sober? I'm sober. Welcome to the show, Taylor. Men's room poll today. Again. All right, don't mess this one up. Uh, dive into a pool, chewing tobacco, spit, urine, loogies, or sharks? I'm going to go urine. 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 Urine, good company. Three other votes for urine. Hey-o. All right. It's funny. Uh, Suzanne commented. Yeah. I'm going to clean this up as best I can, but as Uh-oh. regarding... What is Suzanne? Well... We're going on about the poll, and she has some very strong thoughts, and she's attacking uh, people of the millennial generation. Millennials will eat each other's a-holes, but won't get in in pee or saliva. Sharks really eat more ass, you idiots. Golly. That from... That from Suzanne, who just knows you're going to sleep with Suzanne. Grab yourself oh, a bib. <laughs> no. You're going to need a napkin for that. Yeah, I got a feeling. <laughs> Ooh, that's, uh, she is to the point. Taylor, are you uh, what they call a millennial? I guess. I born- yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> People are just a little more open about it now. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's the only That's the only difference. There's not a new thing that's of, happened. Is this because of Gabriel Union? No. All right. It's, this has been a big thing for the last couple of years on Twitter. Okay. Oh, really? oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Well, people are like coming out of the woodwork like, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the club. Right. Hey, Congratulations. Like That's what I'm saying. Like, they just talk about they it. They just more. got the secret handshake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What state is nicknamed the Green Mountain State? Um, the Green Mountain State. Um, Colorado. I think it's Vermont, isn't it? It is Vermont. Vermont. Because oh, when you think Vermont, you think... I'm more likely to think green than I am mountains. <laughs> the green mountains. It man. is green there. It is green there. That is it a, is very green. But the mountain green. part. Yeah, they got mountains. It's green. It's very lovely. It's very... It should be lovely. No one lives there. Yes, it is. Who was the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Hmm. Can you give us a decade? Sure. Of when she was popular? Uh, 60s and 70s. Okay. Cher. Oh, Cher. Cher. Oh, I thought you said Cher. Cher. Oh, no, like, Cher. I'll give guess. me a second. Give me a, was she in a band or was she a solo, solo artist? artist? Joan Jett. Uh, uh, 60s and 70s. Oh. Is this a big artist that we should know? Literally and figuratively. Okay. Uh, Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin. All right. So that's, that's the clue. Because I was going to go. You guys uh, are spiteful. No, I was. Uh, well. Once you knew she was a bigger character like Aretha. I was going to say Diana Ross. Nah, she's never big. Yeah. She's too crazy. Too crazy to be big. All right, here's your question. In the game of chess, the king can move a maximum of how many squares? Ten. One. Two. 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 Oh, the first Damn. move? Dose. Ah. I don't play chess. Never thought about that. Player. Never thought about that. But I, uh, when I was a kid, I started playing chess. The person who taught me was my brother. My brother is... So- is it a queen that can move as much as she wants? Yeah, the queen pretty much, pretty much yeah. can do what she wants. She tears it on the dance floor. Yeah, no, happy wife, happy life, the whole thing. Yeah, for real. I'm going to go there. I'm going backwards. You ain't telling me nothing. <laughs> you know, the first I time know. I heard that saying... Strong, independent black woman. Yeah, that's, that's right. From a friend, right? <laughs> queen is my and, name, and mother a, effer. There's a white one on the board, too. <laughs> right. She only moves one at a time. Yeah, yeah. Right, but happy wife, happy life. He used to say that all the time. 
and divorced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just because the saying's there doesn't mean it's going to work out. Yeah, and sometimes he looked miserable, and he's like, you know what they say? Happy, happy, life, happy, happy life. life. That's why I'm here. Yeah. No one ever says it happy, though. You never hear someone say, well, you know, happy wife, happy life. Taylor, are you like, married? Happy life. No, I'm not. How old are you? I am 22. Don't do it. You got a lot of time. Don't do it. You got, lot, right. you got a lot of time. You can chill out for a while. Or if you do do it, you know, just know that we'll make your second one. <laughs> You're by the same. And make sure, if you do get married, make sure that at the time you introduce her as your first wife. Taylor, dead serious. <laughs> if you get married now, we promise you that we'll get a keg of Minzum Original Red for your second wa- for your second wedding. That's a deal. Oh, can I get right? two? No. Yes. I'll give you two. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you two. I'll get you two. All right. Well, I gotta that, go, I'm going to go find someone after this. All right. Cool. I, I got, got married to two women, and I got two, two for kegs you. of beer. <laughs> Just because I'm trying to help out the Fisher house. Bam. Hell yeah, it's good beer. I love it. Yeah, it is good beer. All right, here's your question, man with fine taste. Two planets in our solar system do not have moons. Mercury and what? Pluto. Or is that even a planet? Not even a planet, but it actually I'm has gonna a go, moon. I'm going to go Uranus. Uranus. Uranus has many moons. Oh, does it? Oh, oh there are many things missing oh, around Uranus. Moons. Mars? Nope, that has two. Uh, let's go Venus. 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 You are correct. She's got no uh, moons, Venus huh? Venus was like exactly. the twin Earth, so I figured they would have a moon. Venus is all gas, isn't it? It is, uh, yeah, predominantly now. Considering all Uranus atmosphere. is getting all the credit, no, Venus no, no, is no. truly the gaseous that. planet. It's not. Venus is a uh, rocky planet, but its atmosphere is exceptionally thick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Much like my ass. Question uh, five there, Taylor. All right. Your question, what is the capital of Florida? What is the center of lunacy? <laughs> Tallahassee? Nice work. Atta boy. Yeah, good job. And nowhere, hey, guys, and no- I've talked to you two weeks in a row. Hey, man, thanks, Taylor. Well we done, appreciate man. it. Yeah. And uh, nowhere near the center of Florida. Tallahassee really is basically Georgia, Alabama, kind of Mississippi. Yeah, I only went as a kid, so I mean, I, it's hard to remember. It's I a lovely that, area. It's I just, just think that as the capital Florida. of Florida, you're like, we need to be as close to any border. Mm-hmm. If we're going to take responsibility for what the rest of you do, that's right. Can we be next to another state? Game is big dummy eight four four nine nine nine. Ola, who is our next contestant? Ready to play the game? Hello, God damn it. Hello, Emmett. Welcome to the men's room. Big Hola, Hola. Hola, Emmett. Are you sober? Or not sober? I am sober. I'm on my way to school. You're on your way to school. Yes, I am. No what better do- time to get drunk. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Oh, I'm training to be a decent mechanic. Oh, nice, man. Okay. All right, Emin, our men's room poll. Dive into a pool of chewing tobacco, spit, urine, loogies, or sharks? Uh, I'm going to have to go urine. Yeah. yeah. That, that sounds like the least disgusting of them all. Okay. You're in some good company. <laughs> in what decade was the word internet coined? Uh, in what decade? Al Gore, I came up with it when I was down at the Lucia Portland Hotel getting a massage. <laughs> I told the woman Big Al's going to roll over. <laughs> You're going to handle it. Then I got sued. Uh, would that be in the 80s? And then I got a divorce. <laughs> Did Tipper divorce him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, right. but I was just trying to get a little, you know, <laughs> a little massage I don't have much personality. Right. I may go for well, you, know you know what I'm known for? Big Al's. Big Al. <laughs> big Big Al needs some lotion. Does he really think that? That's his game. I used to be the vice president. Oh, I invented the internet and I need lotion. That's why you should touch my penis. <laughs> hey, this room uh, That's all you need. This room is cop, but this massage he is not. <laughs> big dummy is the game. 844 999 Ola. We have a uh, contestant ready to play the game known as Big Dummy. That's Shea Butter. <laughs> oh, I've been on the internet. You can take care of this. Come on, you're on your phone constantly. You love me. You owe me everything. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Welcome to the men's room. Big Hola, Dummy. Bitch. Hola. 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 Matt, you sober or not sober? I'm sober. All right. Welcome to the show. Matt, men's room full. Uh, dive into a pool of chewing tobacco, spit, urine, loogies, or sharks? I'm taking the urine just like everyone else. You're in good company. He was going to say that to all goddamn day. Just the people who answer your... All right, Matt, here's your question. In what South American country would you find Montevideo? Um, I'm really bad at my geography, so I'm going to just say Peru. 
Argentina? Uruguay. Ah, I would never have got that. Oprah named that country. Uruguay! 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 And you got a new car. Oprah, the woman who has the inability to get excited and not sing. Guess who's coming on the show later? I don't know why. It drives me crazy. Because she ha- she's a very intelligent woman. She's very accomplished. She's done all these things. And then she just has that one goddamn tick. There's, a lot, of, there's a lot of people Because that. she will talk to you and she speaks very smart about so many topics. And then the moment she starts getting worked up, and that's when I had him murdered. It's like you're not on a Disney film, man. Just talk. I mean, just talk. Let's well, fire it up. Dude, listen, I used to work with a woman in the restaurant business, all right, and we'd open this joint at 5 a.m. because we had a hospital across the street. No one's in a good mood, and she would show up at 5.30. She was a general manager. She looked like Snow White. She talked like Snow White, but every single morning she would walk in, good morning, and I would threaten to stab her. I mean, you name it. It's like, you need to shut up. Take your cheerful attitude. All right, here's the question. (laughs) Sorry, man. I'm not trying to be happy at 5.30 in the morning. It's the reason we don't do a morning show. That's right. Like, I'm not going to be happy. It's 5.30 in the morning. Good morning, Anchorage. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the U.S. president when the stock market crashed in 19 and 29? Um, hmm. Was it FDR? And that's my guess. I don't think so, though. I don't know. Hoover? Hoover. Yeah. Hoover. Hoover. yeah. yeah. Damn. All right. Question number two. Actor Michael C. Actor Michael C. Hall played the role of what television serial killer? There's a television serial like hmm. Dexter. I don't know. That's not a television. Oh, there you go. You there got you it. Go. Oh, nice work, Aaron. Matt Dexter is correct. Game is big dummy. More contestants on the way. If you would like to be a contestant, call 844-999-OLA. More of Big Dummy coming up. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. We return to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Head Jeff on the way. Ted's Me and Potatoes has some snack uh, information for you, some snack news. And eating while distracted, the stats are out. The head chef has those coming up with Ted's Meat and Potatoes. In the meantime, the game is Big Dummy, 844-999-OLA. Steve, who is our next contestant ready to play the big game? Hello, Justin. Welcome to the men's room. Big dummy. Hello, Justin. You All right, son then. of a bitch. Goodbye. Hello, Eli. Welcome to the men's room. How's it going, guys? Hola. Hola. Eli, you sober, not sober? Sober. Sober Eli, welcome to the show. We've got a lot of sober people called. Only sober contestants today that on Big Dummy. That is crazy. Because I want to say last week, I'm pretty sure nine out of every ten people that called was not a little higher drunk. It doesn't really matter as far as how many questions it takes, no, whether you're sober or not sober. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, through the years, we figured that out. Eli, men's room poll today. you got to dive into a pool. Is it going to be of chewing tobacco, spit, urine, loogies, or sharks? You see, I was taking on that one a little bit. So, is there a time limit for how long you got to be in the pool? You got to dive in there and get. I would get out as fast as you can in all scenarios. Okay, in that case, I'm taking sharks. Just because that, even like a dangerous shark, I feel like you can just dip in real quick and dip out. And all right, now, good. what about yep. this, yep. though? That you have to dive in on the deep end. So, you can't just jump into the three foot side and okay. jump. Like, you have to jump into the 10 to 12 foot side. There's sharks. Presumably, there'll be more to that end, right? Dude, just hit that bottom and power push with those legs right to the what, surface. What about the guys? <laughs> what about the guys who live near the ocean and get up every morning and swim in the ocean alongside the beach, like you know, thirty, forty yards out past the past the the break uh, and shark eating territory? Yeah, exactly. Like you wake up every morning and you swim in Hawaii. I mean, like how many sharks are close to you on any given swim that you have no idea about? How many that you know about? It's all the time. Tom, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like. That does not give me great comfort. Like One I, of the most messed up things, what was it, Planet Earth, in honor of Will Smith, but Planet Earth came out and they were going on about the shark migration trail, right? And I mean, hammerheads, great white, you name it, there's all these different sharks. And as they're filming this, they're kind of doing an aerial shot. So when you look down in the water, it it's a dark shadow slash cloud of sharks, like as far as you can see into the horizon. And then they pulled the shot back more, and this was right off the coast of a Florida beach. 
Oh my. And it shows all these people in the water, and the sharks are like 20 feet away. This is their migration. Thing. But you wouldn't know it from the beach. See, right? I don't know. Yeah. F but doesn't that. that make you feel better about what? swimming with the sharks? Because they're always around. They choose not to eat us. I don't know. Yeah, I, but I feel I like know. that also statistically jacks the odds I think up. when you jump right. into the pool, you're kind of jumping onto their territory at that point. You're startling the sharks. I think they attack. So do we have to dive in? We have to, how about have to you? dive in. You can do, you, look, you're going in the water. I don't care if you go feet first, you can't, head no, first. No, no, no. You can't dive in to uh, chew spit. It's too dark. That would be dangerous. And the loogies, you might not resurface. You, might, you never never come up. So I'm saying, you got to go feet first. You think right. feet first. It depends on what you're jumping into, I guess. You have to cannonball. How about that? Yeah. Cannonball and a thing of loogies. <laughs> oh. And all the loogies spray <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that would be awful. Yeah. God. <laughs> Especially if it was like in an indoor pool, like right. one of those that you find like in a hotel on the Oregon coast, like the little indoor, <laughs> squirts up all under the chlorine stenched walls. And that would be the sound of it. <laughs> all right, here's your question. Google sees its biggest spike in people searching for hangover cures on January 1st. It explains itself. What day is second most for hangover cures? It follows another holiday. It follows or it is on the day? It follows another holiday. All right, see, well, January 1st is the holiday. Guess, I was going to guess Thanksgiving, but if it follows the holiday, that's follows. the day. So it's the next day. Because you the, want the hangover cure, right? So everyone celebrates New Year's before New Year starts, right? Sure. So January 1st, you want the cure. So this is the day after another because major the, the, drinking The biggest holiday. drinking day of the year is the night before Thanksgiving. So if it's not Thanksgiving, no. then it's not that holiday. That is the biggest bar, ho- or bar, bar, right. bar holiday. So I don't know if it's the okay. biggest drinking holiday. Okay. Uh, Okay, so St. Patty's Day is probably one of those. A two. day after or before another already set holiday. Mm-hmm. Man, this holiday is um, always see, on the same. Is it date. a real? It's like it's like single de Mayo. Really is it a, a recent yeah. holiday? That's a holiday. It's a holiday. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't really think of St. Patty's Day as a holiday, but it's a real holiday. Uh, I, I would have to think it's got to be a drinking holiday. Fourth of July, Cinco de Mayo, St. Patty's Day. But St. Patty's Day and Cinco uh, de Mayo aren't like real holidays. Well, that's what. But uh, but I think they are. Or are they? Man, I can't think of what days are. It's definitely uh, not Valentine's Day. holidays right next to it. I'm just going to throw it out there for Thanksgiving. Not a bad guess. Uh, July 4th? November 1st. Oh, Oh, after Halloween. Halloween partying. Get out of here. Because you drink drink more at the Halloween party, (laughs) right? I mean, that's the whole difference. Okay. Not just for kids anymore. All right, your question. Let's go to the world of television. We go to the FX show, The Americans. The Americans. Someone, Mike Hawk, do you watch The Americans? Is it you? You don't watch it. Damn, I thought somebody. Robin, you like it, don't you? The American. Okay, so the FX show, The Americans, it's about Russian spies living undercover in the U.S. Go figure. But just to make sure they don't reveal actual classified information, which federal agency has to approve every episode of the show? Um... The Department of Homeland Security. No. 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 CIA? CIA. Oh. I wonder, if they, were, a little I wonder if they were at the uh, the consulate house in uh, Seattle getting all the bags of wonderful shredded documents out of the alley. <laughs> Who knows? It's all one big goddamn game. These guys. Well, we know you're here spying. Burn the stuff. Shred in San Francisco, they burn it. Here they just shred it and put it in bags. All right, let's go back to the world of the Philadelphia Reserve. Or, Jesus. Of the Federal Reserve. Multiple choice. Which one of these cities is literally powered on burning money? The Federal Reserve in this particular city, they take the money that's too worn out to be in circulation, they send it to local power plant, and it's burned for electricity. Is it Philly, St. Louis, Kansas City, or Atlanta? I'm sorry, what was before Atlanta? Kansas City. So Philly, St. Louis, Kansas City, or secret Atlanta. To the, secret to the barbecue. I'm going to shoot for Kansas City. I'm going to go for Philly just because it sounds like a Philly thing. You should also go for Philly because when I first read the question, I said the Philly Reserve. Yeah. <laughs> Which it sounds oh, like a delicious uh, cheesesteak. It does, but only the finest cheese. Well, the Philly Philly Reserve probably has like mushrooms on it or some kind of oddball thing. It's not normal. Philly Reserve sounds like a fancy version of their cream cheese. Yeah. Or actually, it'd be the blunt Boy. that everybody wants to smoke. You know, man, if it's got the name Philadelphia on it, it really isn't bad on the food world. Food world, correct. Yeah. All right, your question. Both the Backstreet Boys and TLC, they both passed on recording a song called Baby One More Time. So I went to what brand new artist? I'm sorry, one more time. (laughs) No pun intended. So the Backstreet Boys and TLC, they both passed on recording the song Baby One More Time. So that song ended up going to a brand new artist named 
What? You know this woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. How old are you, Eli? Oh, it's Britney Spears. Oh, you got it. Boom. There you go. All right. You go. Say, if you're that old. We also would have accepted it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. He could have been actually losing his mind. Because the conversation was, how old are you? Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> he might actually just have a well, problem. Well, I thought of you coming, yeah. like, if you said he mid-30s or something like that, I'm like, dude, this is in your wheelhouse, right? This is in your crank house. Crank yeah. house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as... It's called a spank bank, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we have Paul Abdul, whatever. Yeah. Paul Abdul was in there for me, too. That's what I'm saying. I, we, we, yeah. We're a lot of people, man. Three steps forward. Sure. Game is Big Dummy, 844 Hola, who is our next contestant ready to play the big game? You know what ruined uh, Paul Abdul for me? What's that? The fact that she looks exactly like Chris Kattan. That's what I love for Paula. Well, but she was before Chris Kattan. Chris it's, Kattan came along. And then, I understand that, but it ruined it for me. Because she looks like Mr. Peepers? Yeah. Sorry, man. Maybe I'm weak. You know what? That is a decent movie, though, as far as dumb comedies go, where he's like in the mob. You laugh in spite of yourself. <laughs> God, I think that's basically that? how you yeah. say it. Yeah. yeah Your kids would like it. They would. They would. Man, it's I just... Corky Romano. Corky, Corky Romano. Romano. Yes! I'm so sad I know that. I am not. I'm impressed. <laughs> you know a movie I just turned the kids on to, man? <laughs> Pee-wee's Big Adventure. All right. All right? So they are mesmerized by Pee-wee Herman. And I don't know if you remember the movie, but at the beginning, he lives alone. <laughs> but, like, when he gets up, he has, like, I don't know, these machines. He's kind of created himself to make his breakfast, brush his teeth, all this stuff. So my son... He's fascinated by Pee Wee Herman because he can't make sense of him, right? He's like, Dad, why does he keep laughing? Because everything he does, ha, after everything. Like, why does he keep laughing? I said, well, man, he's probably got, like, mental problems or something. He's like, all right. So he lets that go. <laughs> then he says, he's really clever talking about the machinery he makes. So okay? he's like, okay. And then he asks, why does he like this bike so much? That bike looks so stupid. I said, listen, it, it's a goofy bike, but it's important to him. It, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's his bike. He likes it. Then finally, he's like, Dad, how old is he, man? <laughs> like... Is he a kid or is he like an 50, adult? 53. Well, I explained. I told him, I said, I'm going to be dead honest with you, man. I have no idea how old people, because he's like, he looks like an adult. I'm like, yes. But he acts like a child. I said, yes. Mm-hmm. But he lives alone. I said, bro, I don't, I don't know what to tell He you. was in Nice Dreams from Cheech and Chong, which I want to say, yeah. son, was 1977. I mean, he's just that guy. I don't know. He's a man child. Hello, Anthony. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. 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 Anthony, sober, not sober. Not sober. All right. Welcome to the show, Anthony. Men's Room Poll. Today, we're asking you to dive into a pool. A pool of chewing tobacco, spit, urine, loogies, or sharks. Well, first things first, I can't swim. But if I had to dive into it, I would have to go pee. <laughs> You'd have to go pee? I'd have to go pee. All right. Uh, I'm not going to any dip spit. I don't always swim, but when I do, it is a pool of urine. I mean, dude, if you're going to drown because you can't swim, wouldn't you rather the sharks eat you? No, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of there one way or another, but I just can't swim laps. Okay, we'll right. find a way to get off the confident now, are we? Okay, <laughs> hopping in the shark pool or to say he I can't mean, swim. How's he getting out of this pool? Period. <laughs> Look, so you can't swim. Do you want to exacerbate the situation with and there's sharks in the water? I do. I really don't. I'd rather I'd rather because you can right fight there, yes. your way to the. You can maybe figure out how to get to the service, but the sharks are going to prove problematic. I just think drowning is a terrible way to go. I think being eaten by sharks is a terrible thing too. I really because I'll drowning. I'll take it over drowning. Oh man! <laughs> so Anthony, you're going pee, right? Going pee. All right, you're going in good. Pee. You're in good company. All right, your question. Multiple choice. Now Matt Groening, who created The Simpsons. He's only written four episodes, believe it or not. And in three of those cases, he's only the co-writer. The only episode that he ever wrote that involved uh, Homer Simpson, was he managing a country singer or managing a baseball team? Uh, It's the baseball team. Managing a country singer. (laughs) It's the only episode he's ever written. So what, he just does the, does the animation? I guess. I mean, even if he still doesn't. Because he gets full credit on the show, right? He does. Yeah, I don't agree. He made his money on it. The show's been on for, what, 30-some years, whatever the hell it is, and he's written one episode. All right. Americans, we are now drinking less orange juice now than any time in the past two decades. But what country drinks more orange juice than any other country in the world? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go, uh, Canada. 
Yeah, what about Brazil? America. We're drinking less than we have in the last 20 years. We still drink more orange okay. juice than All anywhere right. else in the world. Yeah, oh, we sense. got them. We got them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they ruined the juice. All of it. It has just as much sugar as soda. Cranberry juice, orange juice, all the good juices. Is anyone still shocked to find out that whatever it is you were doing to be healthy? Let me rephrase that. Anytime you hear a product being pushed, they'll tell you why it is healthier than whatever your alternative sure. would be. But understand, nine times out of ten, that's where it ends. It's oh, healthier, but I know people don't think that way. But it's like, listen to what they are saying. What they're telling you is true, but... They allude to these other things, but it's like, yes, this is a better alternative. If you don't need sugar, we were talking about this yesterday, right? We have this, it's sugar-free, blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever the crap is they're putting in there is worse for you than sugar, but they're right. It has no sugar. I just remember going over to like my grandma's house, and she'd have, like, grape juice. And I'd taste it, and be like, oh, this is delicious. Yeah, I think I've that's never the got issue grape. with, like, juice. It was like, you were told for so long it was, like, the good thing It was to better drink. to drink. And, to be honest with you, I think a lot of us, we didn't realize they were just, like, there was no real juice in it. It was just like yeah. sugar water. There's a couple things, man. I, it was juicy <laughs> juice. Maybe it's changed. It had to be like 15 years ago. I see juicy juice is in a, a grocery store, and it says now, now with 10% real fruit juice. Yeah. It's called juicy juice, and your improvement is that 90% of it is not juice? <laughs> God damn, man. All right, your question. Right? I'm not sorry, but it's, it's like, called juicy it's like when you see some juice. restaurants and they're like made with real ingredients. Juice boxes, like, Capri yes. Suns, all that stuff. You thought that was healthy stuff you're giving your kids. Capri, are you sure? Well, well, I, well I, I mean, mean as a bag of juice. You know. It still seemed better than a soda. It it seemed well, better than fair, a soda. Fair. But I feel like your parents bought Capri Suns so they didn't look really bad. It'd but been better to give them chocolate it. chocolate milk. No, absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, your question. Not to say that Hollywood's running out of ideas, but only three of the 15 highest grossing movies in the 1980s have not been remade or gotten a sequel or a prequel. Think about that. Of the top 15 highest grossing movies, only three of them have not gotten the uh, Hollywood retread. One of those movies was E.T. One of those movies was Tootsie, which starred Dustin Hoffman. And the other movie also stars Dustin Hoffman. What is the movie? Oh, is this a real heavy movie? Ted got it. Uh, it. Yeah, at moments. At moments. I mean, it's Dustin Hoffman, so. Dustin Hoffman. Mm hmm. Um, I didn't realize he was in two of the biggest grossing movies of the 1980s. Yeah. Did it be uh, Rayman? Um, oh, you got okay. it. Got to watch oh, that. Yeah, yeah. All right, I never would have got that. That movie ended sad. I remember being a kid and crying at the end of that movie. Well, so then the movie was kind of silly, and you had to get time. You had to care. Yeah, it was really right. Funny. Then at the end, you're like, oh man, they just old yellered your ass. Yeah. They just old yellered your mm-hmm. ass, man. You went through this whole movie. You're not piecing together where it's gonna go, and then that happens, and it it sucks, man. You know, and listen, not to be a spoiler for anyone that has kids, the movie Trolls comes out. All right, that, just say there's a scene toward the end <clears throat> where all of the trolls. Trolls get you? No, no. They're thrown into a pot, oh. and they're about to cook these oh, bitches, well, all right? Sweet. Oh. They're trolls. So my daughter, I'm a, and look, as an adult, I know it is unlikely that this rated G movie is going to slaughter trolls, right? I, I'm pretty confident they're not actually going to cook and kill the trolls in this movie. My daughter does not necessarily understand this, and you forget that she's a child. So <laughs> the scene pops on me, and I hear her blubbering, right? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, hey, baby, what's What's wrong? Thought like she bit her tongue, burned herself, somebody poked her. And she's like, the trolls look sad. I said, they're about to be cooked, dude. I mean, like, yeah, it wouldn't be sad. She's like, they're all going to die. And I was like, well, I tell you, I don't want to spoil the movie for her. And I'm trying not to laugh, right? Because she's very attached to these trolls. But I'm kind of grinning. And I'm like, baby, listen to me. I will bet you a dollar that every son of a bitch in that pot makes it in this movie. She's like, I don't know, because they're about to fire it up. So, <laughs> shocker, they don't murder the trolls in the troll movie. They are not cooked to death. And I'm telling my not daughter. Not the first one. She yeah. fa- oh, the sequel's brutal, man. It's a bloodbath. But uh, that's what troll reminds day. me. What it is to be a child. She cannot like, watch Disney then. Dude, no, no. Disney does it right. They just kill them at the beginning? You're slaughtered at the beginning. Right. Your kid gets it out of the system. Okay. I don't trolls know, wait until the end, man. I'm still traumatized by Land Before Time. I haven't seen that one, dude. I'll never look Jenny Steele in the eyes again. <laughs> If you'd like to be a contestant and play Big Dummy, 844-999-OLA. More Big Dummy coming up. You are listening to the Men's Room Radio Network. 
Hold up, bitches. You're listening to The Men's Room. Head chef coming up. Teddy's Ted's with two D's, meat and potatoes. As uh, snack information. <laughs> And uh, eating while distracted, some uh, some statistics coming up about uh, our eating habits. On the way with the head chef. In the meantime, the game is Big Dummy, 844-999. Ola, who is our next contestant? Ready to play the big game. Hello, Darren. Welcome to the men's room. Big Dummy! Hola! Hola! Hey, Darren, are you sober or not sober? I'm unfortunately sober. All right, Darren. Men's room poll today is uh, diving into a pool of either chewing tobacco spit, Urine, loogies, or sharks? Well, considering every time you go in a public pool, you're swimming in urine, I'm going with that. Okay. All right, here is your first question. The guy who founded the North Face, he died in 2015. Did he die from AIDS, hypothermia, or malaria? I know this one. He died of hypothermia and he was wearing his own stuff. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I know. That Sorry is that that. just crazy. Oh. Well, where was he? He, I'm not sure, but you're he had wearing... He somewhere extreme. I'm Obviously, sure he was. Obviously, yes. he was somewhere extreme, but you're wearing... You found it North End. You're wearing North End. North this Face. Is, but this is, not where, you, this is not where people wear North Face stuff. People wear North Face in major metropolitan areas downtown. Right. Why well, I swear by it, but... Oh, I do, too. Where do you live? Major I've never spent an area over, downtown. That's right. You right. live downtown, man. I've spent <laughs> overnight in a tent, but it was a nice tent that had a wood burning stove. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, this is not... Yeah. Yeah. This is not what this... I yeah. wear mine to sporting events. Yeah. Yeah, he. Uh, it doesn't work that well. That's all you need to. That know. is so ironic, isn't that amazing? <laughs> isn't I mean? that ironic? You know I mean? That's like I mean, that's like a giant boombox falling out of the sky and killing one of us. Right. Exactly. It's like what's his name, the peanut guy, uh, Carver, George what, Washington Carver, Carver? dying choking on a peanut. peanut. <laughs> <laughs> right? Peanut butter. Excuse I mean, me. that is very. Da, I'm, da, I'm da, sorry, the guy da, passed. Pettyless and insane, still trying to play a phonograph record with a peanut. <laughs> Game is big dummy, 844-999. Ola, who's our next contestant? Ready to play. Guess who it is, Ted? James. 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 Welcome to the men's room. Dummy. Hello, James. Pool full of shark, bitches. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we know where you're going there, James. Are you sober or not sober? You're damn right. Not sober. All right. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you for having me. All right. Your question is multiple choice, and this is ridiculous. But is it Corey Feldman, David Arquette, or James Spader? Which one of them is a certified Bob Ross painting instructor? Uh, James okay, what Spader, were the options again? David Arquette, or... Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Mm. I think Corey Feldman's too whacked out right now. He's got too much stuff going on. Yeah. He's not got his own band. He's worried about people stabbing him with needles. I would guess... So what? it was uh, uh, James Spader, and who was the other one? James yeah. Spader, David Arquette, or Corey Feldman? Oh, David Arquette. Yep. I'm going to oh. go. Oh, oh, okay. Then. How did you know that? Yeah. I just read it the other day. Uh, instinct. Instinct. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, <laughs> David Arquette also at one point was the WCW champion. I mean, that guy gets into something. He, he, does, gets everything. Into he, he does everything. It says he reached out to BobRoss.com, which exists, oh, yeah. and he asked them how he could learn to paint like Bob. They hooked him up with some local instructor, and he says, quote, I met this guy. He was amazing. And I took this course, and then I asked him, how did you get certified to do this? And he said, well, it's a three-week course in New Smyrna Beach. So this past summer, I went and did it. Now I've taught like 30 people how to paint these little happy trees. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. Game is Big Dummy, 844-999. Ola, who is our next contestant? Ready to play the big game. Hello, Don. Welcome to the men's room. Big Hello. Hola. 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 So this is a D-A-W-N, Don. Yes, please. Don, you are sober, not sober. I'm in that uh, odd state, right on the border. All right, not sober. Not Don. sober. Welcome what to the show. That. Yes, not completely it sober. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with a cop either. A men's room poll: dive into a pool of chewing spit, urine, loogies, or sharks. Where are you going there, Don? Oh well, I had you had you had to actually say it that way. I was going to say chewing tobacco, but you had to say spit. So yeah, because it's the spit. That's not well what otherwise, it is. Yeah, we would I, all I was swim in nail the tobacco. Y'all on the technicality. So now you're going to go loogs. Um, no, no. All right, well, what are you, which way are you going on this? Well, now I have to rethink it. I'm going to go sharks. All right, shark it is. If I can't have tobacco yeah. spit, I'll go sharks. Uh, by the way... Well, no, if it was just chewing tobacco. Well, sure. Absolutely. 
Uh, by the way, Miles, as far as the uh, the guy that started North Face, he died of hypothermia after capsizing in glacier water in Argentina. Well, that's, it doesn't matter if you're wearing a coat Ooh. then at that point. And then someone else added uh, the boombox that drops down and kills us. They mm-hmm. said that boombox that fell out of the sky and killed you is also playing Alanis Morissette. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Here is Isn't your question. Isn't it ironic? You got it. You're quick. I like you. Here's your question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the word vagina. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey, right. oh. Vagina. vagina. The Got word one. vagina. It comes from the same Latin root word as a certain bean, because the shape of this bean, when it grows, resembles vagina. vagina. So, what bean do you believe it is? Hmm. Oh. Like tickling them. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Dang, I think I know this actually. I do too. I do too. I gotta guess. Oh. Don, what do you think? Oh, it, what, what do you What do you think it is, Don? Oh, I, I'd love to hear your guess. Just well, no, we need to hear your. You called us. Yeah, you got game to, yeah, you gotta, I know. What, I called in because I usually Don, know all the answers, what, what, and today what, I don't. Don. Oh. Uh, Don. Dang, a fava bean. Now the father bean. The shenanigans continue on the Men's Room Radio Network.